supernatural power begins to move in your life. There are certain problems that you have. Now, I'm not preaching at you. I can easily say we have. But just, just give me some margin here. There are certain problems that you have that you're never going to get rid of. They're there forever. I'm not trying to do shock value. I'm, I'm making a point. Just wait on me. Sometimes I'm talking with somebody and they tell me a problem and I think to myself, you're going to have that for the rest of your life. I was talking to somebody on the phone and uh, it, it was like 8 o'clock and the conversation kept going and going. So I pulled off into like a Walmart because I know God's in Walmart. So I, I pulled off into a parking lot and he pulls off in a parking lot. We both pull off in a parking lot to talk to each other. And he's telling me how horrible his marriage is. And I said to him after about 15 minutes, and I've talked to him like 1,700 times about this. And I finally said, let me just name him John. John, this is what I want you to do. I want you to grab the lever on your seat in your car, and I want you to pull it backward and just lay down. Did you do it? He's like, yeah, I did. And I want you to tell yourself, this is my life and is never going to change. And he's like, Pastor? <laughs> I said, just remember I'm saying that. This is my life. And it's never going to change. Obviously, he didn't like that at all. And the reason why he didn't like it and the reason why you guys don't like hearing it is there's something in your spirit that goes, no, that's not true. It's not, it's not true. And you're right. It's not true. So long as you're praying. The Bible says this in Ezekiel 36, 26. It says, not by might nor by strength, not by your intellect, not by your charisma, charisma not by your strategy, not by your money, not by your know-how, not by this, this. Some of you have a really high EQ. You can kind of feel the room. Not by your EQ. Nothing, 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 nothing you have, nothing you bring to the table is going to change it. It says, not by might nor by strength, but by my power, says the Lord. This is what happens when you pray. This is what happens when you pray. Sometimes somebody will want to pray, but they will feel like there's a lock on their jaw and they just can't get it open. So they think about, I should pray. I need to pray. I know he will help me if I pray, but they can't get their mouth open. You have to ask the question, why is that? Why is that? I'm going to tell you that all of hell has barbed wire wrapped around your lips. You just can't get it open. Have you ever been in a dream? It's amazing how many people have been in this situation where you're laying in the bed and all of a sudden you wake up and you feel frozen and you feel like there's an evil spirit in your room and you can't move and you're scared. Raise your hand if that's ever happened to you as high as you can, as high as you can. You're, you're, you're encouraging all of us as high as you can. Elbow straight. Come on, wave it around. Now everybody look around. It's about half the room. And you sit there, and for those of you that haven't raised your hand, you're like, thank God it was y'all and not me. <laughs> but when you're in that state, you know in your spirit and your mind, if I could just get Jesus out of my mouth, Jesus, and then bang! It's like, are you with me? Did that happen to you? Jesus! This is what happens when you pray. Those of you that can't get your mouth open, just get that name out. Get that name out. Those barbed wires will fall to the ground like puppy fuzz. I'm not even sure what puppy fuzz is, but you got my point. This is what happens when you pray. Do you receive that today? Come on.